Hello everybody, it's Chris and I'm back to react. So, been lagging, gonna explain that another day. Uh, new location, spontaneously wanted to record. Uh, two weeks before Valentine's Day, meaning two weeks of only lovable, incredible, probably cringy videos that concerns love. And then, yeah, I'm gonna try my best not to be a bitter bitch about it. But we're gonna get into my first love feat. I will keep butchering this. I'm sorry. Emmy Richu or Emmy. I've done a video on her, damn it, and I still can't get it right. But we're gonna be doing a video uh, by someone called Sultan. I forgot the last part. Sultan animation. But let let let's just get into this before I destroy myself. Look, aren't they pretty? I just bought these gel pens. They're so beautiful. Ooh, I love this. Only love you can style. borrow them, okay? Oh gosh, how old were they? Several years later. That was fast. This reminds me of Timmy Turner because of the little hat. He probably gets that a crown. So he probably look, gets that a lot. Isn't it pretty? The ocean at night. It's beautiful. Aww. Why are you crying, bro? I don't know how to feel about this. It is. It it all, it was beautiful, Whenever but at I the same time, this story. Okay. To Sorry. this day, I still can't decide if it's a happy story or a sad story. Probably both. Because it's first love. I wonder. What will you think of it? I don't know. I just said it both, but I haven't seen it yet. If you've seen my previous videos about my school experience, you'll know that primary school for me absolutely sucked and I didn't have any real friends. Aww. But that's not completely true. Okay. You see, in the classroom at least, there was one person who always treated me with kindness. There was one person who, even though we were never close, I considered a comrade. This is the story about the first girl I ever loved. Okay. If you know me in person, as friends or even if we just went to school together, chances are you already know who this video is about. And you've probably heard bits and pieces of our story because people love to talk but not the whole thing. Gossip, man. To tell oh, this story... I need to go to the beginning. Okay. The very beginning. I'm looking at the AV story. Our story takes place almost 10 years ago. Okay. I like this, this timeline. In the final year of primary school, our teacher assigned us random seats and I was seated next to a girl. Mm -hmm. She had these sparkly rainbow smiggle gel pens all packed neatly in a sleeve and she turned to me and told oh, me Pokemon. that only her best friend and I could borrow them since I was sitting next to her. This was my first interaction with her. I didn't know it then, but that's when it all began. Oh, she looks really pretty. Now, <laughs> she told me this a few years later, but we had actually been going to the same school since we were five, oh. but I just never noticed her until we were in the same class together. That a happens. fact that she always made me feel guilty for. She was always kind to me, always spoke to me in class, but we were never really friends, or at least I didn't think so. I know that's a leaf, but it just that was until weed the first day of high head. school. Whoa. Ooh, now it's changed. Animation. Sultan? Huh? <laughs> oh, what? Why that dude? Please oh, was tell he me you're in this class. Yeah, I am. Are you? <gasps> Yay! Someone I know. Promise me you won't ditch me. That I don't dress want to be is so alone. short. Uh, Promise me you won't ditch me oh, ever. Oh God, the puppy eyes. Hmm. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> a plus points there. This is the story of how a sultan fell in love with a princess. Okay. Her name obviously wasn't princess, but... Obviously well, not. that was what I actually called her, so it's pretty accurate. 
Oh. Well, let me talk a little bit about what kind of person she was. Okay. She, she was very really sweet, kind. funny, yeah. caring, and she was very intelligent. I mean, I think we worked on hundreds of projects together, and she was beautiful, okay. like stunning. She was one of the most gorgeous girls in the school, but she wasn't the typical popular hot girl you see in the movies. She was kind to everyone, but she kept her circle close. And as we grew closer, she let me in her circle. Mm -hmm. During primary school, when people used to bully me, she never did. And in high school, whenever I'd be walking alone, <laughs> she wouldn't let me. She'd run up to me and she'd wrap her arm around mine and she'd drag me to socialize. Yeah. In the first year of high friend, school, I was still extremely her. shy and, and timid, so I couldn't help but feel like a pest following her around. So I tried to limit my interactions with her, but <laughs> she wouldn't have any of that. Every time our class had to pair up, she'd shoot me a stare and partner up with me. Whenever there were parties, she would always ask to go together. Yeah. Because I was very insecure back then and thought no one liked me. I, can I thought she was just doing it out of pity. Why you would he would but like as I grew girl. up as I made new friends she sounds like an amazing as girl. I grew to become more social and confident I realized it wasn't she genuinely liked me and my company That's and great. I adored hers I think when I became confident in my own skin and personality that's when we truly grew closer mm -hmm. we were inseparable and everyone in the school knew it if they saw me or dating. Princess by ourselves, they would get shocked because we were always joined at the hip. Not that I would ever leave her alone, of course. There were a lot of thirsty guys in our school yeah, who always checked her out guess. when she walked past. I made sure they didn't. I was still pretty <laughs> shy and avoided conflict when I could, but when it came to Princess, I would mm. jump in headfirst for her. That's great. That Princess didn't date much, awesome, and really. honestly, I think it was because I scared off a lot of guys. I didn't threaten them or anything like that, but from afar we did look like a couple and every second question we were asked were, are you two dating? Yeah, it never weirded us out I would because probably ask well, we that. were there used were to it and we were both very certain of where we stood with each other. We were best friends, that's all. Every time Princess dated, <laughs> I would make it my mission to become close friends with the guy. Oh. I needed to know what kind of people they were. Was I wasn't like just going to let the most perfect girl in the world date someone who didn't appreciate her. I would usually end up being the middleman and run back and forth between Princess and whoever she was seeing at the time and give yeah. advice to both of them and try to help them out whenever they needed. Yeah. As for me, really I dated a few times as well, but for some reason whenever I was getting close to a girl, I pushed away. Mm. At the time, I thought I was just scared of commitment, but I still wasn't quite sure. Most yeah, of the girls I dated, else. Princess hated. Yeah, if <laughs> she Princess was so hated, sweet and kind to everyone knows. in the school, she but knows. for some reason, she thought I picked the wrong girls, and <laughs> she would usually if your lecture best me about friend it. For real, can tell I that, think she also thought I deserved yeah. someone like me, and that was something I truly loved about her. <laughs> I would always lecture her about leaving her homework to the last minute and she would always lecture me about sleeping properly. So there were a lot of lunch times where we would sit in the library so <laughs> she could do her homework while I could sleep. As we grew older, we just grew closer and closer. I called her parents mum and dad and she called mine that too. Our parents shipped us together but we always laughed and brushed it off. Mm -hmm. The rumors at school also never stopped, but it never bothered us. We knew who we were, and that was all that mattered. Yeah. Or so I thought. Oh. In the 11th grade, I was at a party that finished way earlier than it should have. I'd been drinking, um... Grape juice. Uh-huh. Yeah, grape yeah, juice. Okay. For all the so I wasn't kids. feeling too well. Yeah. I was walking home when I received a text on my phone. It's backwards, yo. It was Princess, and she was at my best mate's house with a friend, and she wanted me to come over after the party. Uh -huh. It should be noted that at this time, Princess and my best mate were seeing each other. Mm -hmm. And so I hiccuped my way over there. When I arrived at his house, I walked into his bedroom and said hey to everyone, and then flopped down on the floor. Okay. We sat and hung out for a little while. Princess's friend was taking snapchats of me doing dumb stuff. 
It was a good night. Pr Princess' friend looks cool. Was. Was. Damn it, the dang! I remember Princess's friend wanted a selfie with me. And then I said I didn't want a selfie with her. I wanted a selfie with Princess. So I turned around to ask Princess for a selfie. Oh, was she kissing her boyfriend? And then... I like the whole music thing. It's so calming. I want to take a selfie with Princess. Hey, Princess, come take a selfie with... He's never, he's never seen them kiss before. So, it didn't occur until that night. Oh, even that hurt me. Jesus. Sultan? Where are you going? <laughs> My mother's messaging me. She wants me home and you The know fact that he came up with that lie, even when he was drunk. Oh. It's okay. so good. I she knows I'll see something you at school wrong on Monday. too. <sighs> My heart <Yeah>. hurts. <laughs> like this, ah, this is a sad part of a first love story. Sultan, what are you Is doing here? Is that his here? best friend? In the middle of the night. Huh? Their hair days are pretty much the same. Oh, no. I think... I love her. Oh, that heartbeat effect. To be... What do you mean to be continued? <laughs> Now I have to see the other one! <laughs> ah, okay. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, Sultan. I see what you did there. Alright. I'll watch the other one. Okay. Just not gonna watch it right now, but I'll watch the other one. I'll watch it. Um, I'm gonna discuss my first love after the next video. It's 20 minutes long. Fuck. Um... Or I'll just do it in a separate video, because mine is actually going to be probably that long too. And I wish it could be this creative, but it's not going to be. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching that. Um, and obviously we still got a journey to go with the story and the whole concept of first love and best friends. So I will see all you guys in the very next video. Bye, all my beautiful, unique weirdos. So peace.